Abby, this is called a Christmas Carol. A long time ago in the city of London, there lived a stingy man named Scrooge. He was very wealthy, but he was also very unhappy because he didn't know how to share. One Christmas Eve, as he sat at his desk, his nephew Fred threw open the office door. Merry Christmas, Uncle Scrooge. If you won't make me your partner, will you at least come to our party this evening? Bah, humbug, said Scrooge. Won't you please go away? Christmas is just like any other day. See him. He was, he was sad. Isn't that pitiful? Poor old man. I wondered if tomorrow might be a holiday, asked his assistant, Bob Cratchit, nervously. See his assistant? A holiday? I suppose you would also like pay. Well, forget it. Once he was alone, Scrooge was so tired from yelling at people all day that he settled into his chair and quickly dozed off. See, he's all he's rich, but he won't spend any money on himself or anybody else. A strange rattling and howling roused him from his slumber. Oh, look. It was the ghost of his old partner, Jacob Marley. He used to be just as greedy and stingy as Scrooge. I've come to say you must change starting today. Three ghosts will visit you to show you the way. <laughs> Scrooge didn't believe what he had seen. I'm sure that was just a dream, he said to himself as he crawled into bed. Marley couldn't have been here. He's long since dead. But no sooner did Scrooge fall asleep than a howling began. Wake up, I am the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, scary. I'll remind you of who you used to be before you let greed destroy your generosity. Because when he was a young man, he was really sweet and nice. Here he is when he was a little boy. Magically, they visited every Christmas from Scrooge's youth. Scrooge saw the boarding school where he'd been so sad. See, he was so sad in school all by himself. He saw the lovely girl who left him and made him feel so bad. If only he'd loved her more than money, she would have been so glad. See, she loved him, but he loved his money more. Oh, next came the ghost of Christmas present. It's time to look at something pleasant. They saw this Cratchit family happy and loving with no feast and no tree. But look at them, they're all happy because they're all together and they love each other. Poor Tiny Tim, the youngest Cratchit said, God bless us everyone. Scrooge, to his shame, knew that even a poor, lame little boy understood that Christmas was much more than a new toy. Aww. <laughs> I hate this stuff. <laughs> I, did, I cry all the time. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, look, he's flying through the air. It's time to visit your nephew Fred, cried the ghost as they flew through the dark winter night. <laughs> Oh, there's Fred. Look, he's having a wonderful time. They've got all their ne their um, friends there having a party. Scrooge saw his nephew in a room filled with light. There was laughter and family and a sense of delight. <laughs> his nephew lifted his glass and said to Scrooge, but some okay, guests... Mommy's crying. <laughs> <laughs> but some guests shook their heads. Scrooge cried, I can't stand to see anymore. Take me home. Let me sleep. See, Why even though they... Because of the story. <laughs> it's happy and sad. Yeah. Next, oh, here comes the ghost of Christmas yet to come. Roused him from his sleep. It's time to see what's coming soon. Scrooge began to weep. He saw Tiny Tim's crutch, but the, floor, the poor lad was dead. Little Tiny Tim had something wrong, and he died in the future. In the town, people were saying the old miser is gone, but who cares? See, he died too, but nobody cared. <laughs> He's loving on you. 
Then he saw his own grave and Scrooge realized that no one at all cared when he died. Nobody loved him because he was so mean. That guy? Hmm? He was, that he guy. was mean? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. He was mean and he didn't want to give any money to anybody. Enough, cried Scrooge. I know I must change. Then it was morning and the sun was so bright. Scrooge woke up and said, I know how to make this bright. Hmm. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now she's going to be like, okay, everybody's crying. This is weird. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look here now. It's okay. Look, baby. Are you crying? Mm -mm. Not no. anymore. Mm -hmm. Look, Are you here's, crying? It, Not anymore. Look, it's mm -hmm. going to get happy now. Merry Christmas, he called as he <gasps> spotted a boy. Scrooge laughed and smiled as his heart filled with joy. He went to his nephews bearing a gift, and that's when his future began to shift. He's going to be happy now. Yeah, now he's, he's going to be, be happy. He's going to be happy now and not mad and mean all the time. He made Fred his partner, and they shared a big feast. Scrooge was no longer greedy, not in the least. He sent food to the Cratchits just on a whim. From then on, Scrooge always went out on a limb to help those in need, especially Tiny Tim. He paid for Tiny Tim to get surgery so he could be all better and not die. Aww. That's not in here, but it's okay. in the real book. <laughs> Okie dokie, there you go. Was that weird and sad?